What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm finally doing the very highly requested how to make this scrapbook. So it's very easy. Um, I have a couple of key steps that basically will allow you to make the whole thing. Hey guys, so I already uploaded this but I decided to re-upload everything because it freezed after like five minutes so you couldn't see like any of what was going on. Um, so definitely my fault. I apologize. Um, so I did make this to two parts now. Um, and I'm going to re-upload it right after I'm done filming this intro. So you guys can have it. You can see it all. Um, so the first part is me kind of just explaining everything. And then part two is showing you how to do a couple of the pages. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and that's all. Hi, I'm Jackie. A little backstory about the book and why I made it. Um, so I had been dating this boy for about six months when I gave it to him. I actually wanted to give it to him at like a year is when I like got the idea. I got the idea like when we first started dating. Um, and I was thinking about doing it for like our year. Um, but I ended up doing it a little earlier because he was going on a mission trip and he was gonna be gone for 12 days with like no service. So we won't be able to communicate. Um, and then when he got back, he was going on a family vacation for like nine more days. So it was gonna be like a longer period of time of not seeing each other. I mean, long in my eyes, I was young, just forget about it. Um, so I wanted to make him something that like he could remind him of me, <laughs> um, basically. So that is why I made the book. Um, yes, we are not dating anymore. Sorry to burst anyone's bubble, but yeah, we aren't dating anymore. Um, that's why it took a little while to get the book back and be able to do this video. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this to anybody, not even just for like a romantic relationship, but like for like your friends, your family, like this makes a great gift. Um, I've been reading a lot of the comments and some people are like, uh, boys don't care about this, boys don't want this, which I feel like some boys probably won't, but the guy that I was dating at the time, he really appreciated it. And, um, so yeah, I highly recommend this. It's very easy, very fun. Um, it took me about three weeks to make, um, actually, okay, it's gonna take a while to get the book when you order it, it took me like four weeks to get the book. So when I got the book, I had already started working on it. I started um, printing off pictures with sticker paper and um, kind of coming up with little designs and stuff of like kind of what I wanted to do and like little sayings that I wanted to put in it. Otherwise, start a Pinterest board, make ideas, figure out what you want to do. And yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier when you get to the book process. So that's my little pre-game. So now to get into how to make this thing, let's go. Um, first things first is I got this book off Etsy. Um, it is all different pages. So there's um, some notebook paper. There is a map in here. It's just a mixture. Um, so I got this book off Etsy. It was, the site I got off is called Bad Books. It was about $35 up front and then it ended up being about $50, $55 to ship everything because it did come from the United Kingdom. Right now, since we are in the COVID um, whole situation, they are, I'm pretty sure they're taking a temporary break for that because I recently just tried to look them up and it said that they were taking a temporary break. I love this book. I think that it helped me a lot. It has lots of different pages um, and it just really adds a lot of variety. Um, but you definitely don't need it. Like you can add so many other things to make it very original, make it very varied. <laughs> I have a couple of dupes or if you don't want to pay that much or if you just genuinely don't really like the look of this all that much. Um, look up on Etsy. You can look up um, multi-page journal or like I looked up travel journal and I got so many good things from that if you look on Etsy. Otherwise, even if you look at just google it just google and you can like it takes you a little bit to look around find what you like um but i actually found this one at barnes and noble this one was only 16 dollars, and it has this little like string that wraps around it which is kind of cute otherwise if you really don't like it then you can just take it off i like it because 
I do other things in here and I like to keep it all nice and tight. Um, but this one is similar. It does not have different pages like this one does, but like the looks of it are very similar. Um, the size of this is actually a lot smaller than a lot of people think, but I think the size is perfect because there's a lot of pages in here and like it's a lot to work with. So honestly, I think the smaller the book, I think it's just a little cuter and it's a little bit easier to work with just because you don't have as much space to fill. But if you did get a big one, just make the pictures a little bigger. Like you can literally do it with like any book. Um, I'm to the one that I'm going to be making soon is with literally this stick thin. This book was maybe like two dollars. You can literally do it with anything. Trust me, you guys can do it. You can do it. You can just definitely do this ball on a budget. And now you got something to do with all of your time off since we're all in quarantine. Um, okay. Now, how I did all of these pictures is no glue. Glue is not your friend for this. Don't use glue. Don't use anything. What you need to do, you're not going to order pictures or anything. You are going to go on your laptop, transfer all your pictures into a Google Doc, how I made this collage. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to print all of your pictures on a piece of sticker paper. Now you can get sticker paper at Walmart for $7. It looks like this. Otherwise, there is also a green one. $7. Sometimes it's a little bit more pricey. But you can get 15 sheets for $7 at Walmart. Find the right one. Don't go to that name brand thing with a, it's like cardboard. No, it's literally a piece of paper and they're all like wrapped in plastic. Get that. It works exactly the same. You're going to put it in the printer. Make sure it's sticky. The, there's like a matte part which you're going to print the picture on and like a slicker part that is actually the part that you're going to peel off and you're going to put the slick peely part face up when you put it in the printer just so no because don't mess that up like if you print it on the back you're screwed but I mean you can always reprint it I kind of just want to make like a bunch of collages for in here I don't necessarily if this isn't going to be like another book for a relationship um yeah, so that's how I made that and literally it is amazing. They stick down so nice. Everything just looks so clean and that's like my favorite part. Um, you don't even have to use it just for pictures. You can use it for designs. Like this whole s'mores title is with the sticker paper. This whole page is with the sticker paper. And one thing nice about um, using the pictures on a Google Doc is that you can edit however big you want them. Um, how I did one of the pages where I used a whole picture as the page, how you're going to do this by making the picture this big is you are going to go on Google or on Microsoft Office, whatever you want to use, and you're going to put the rulers at the top and the bottom. You're going to measure this page out and you're going to follow this however big this page is, is how big you're going to make the picture. I would recommend making it a little bit smaller just because like you can see there's like a little bit of a border around the picture just so like it can stick on nice otherwise you can always cut it duh so cut it if you need to it's so simple guys it's and it's like such a cute little idea like make them for your friends you don't even have to make a book heck you can make like a little card like a little note you know um the one thing is so this page the this was built into the book um but you could definitely add this in make it out of paper you know um a couple other things so one thing with this book is that there's about 50 pages in here and each one is front and back so there is a lot of space to fill um so like these pages I literally didn't fill them um but add like little quotes and stuff like it's kind of hard to fill it you think about it and you're like holy cow I got a lot to fill but one thing that was nice is that with this book being so small, it was a lot easier. Took up more space when I put a picture on it, so I really like that concept of it. So I definitely recommend doing a little bit smaller of a book. Um, and then another thing that I love, I love this page, is this one. Um, so this is actually the first flowers he has ever gotten me. And I pressed them and I glued it in here. That is like the one time I used glue in here. But definitely a really cute touch. If you have not gotten your girl flowers, do it. 
That's all I gotta say. Just chill on it. Like, literally, these flowers right here are still, those are still the flowers. Because those are the only flowers a boy has ever gotten me, and I don't really want to get rid of them. I should. They look gross. Like, they're so dead. Ugh, they look gross. My family's always like, why do you keep them? Um, okay. Okay. 